Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New East in the Western, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. The use of 64,000 human computers to parallel process the world that was published as a science fiction story back on February 1, 1922 and published in a book titled Weather Prediction by Numerical Process. The contribution of Philip M. Aguali to the development of the computer is this. I upgraded parallel supercomputing from fiction to non-fiction. So for 67 years onward of 1922, parallel processing was the big and unanswered question of the field of computing, and for that reason, the quest to answer it was described as the grand challenge problem of the field of supercomputing. For 67 years, onward of 1922, mathematical scientists attempted to solve the toughest initial boundary value problems and to solve them by dividing each into smaller problems that could be parallel processed with one problem to one processor correspondence and mapped onto one million identical processors that were tightly coupled to each other. Until my discovery of the 4th of July, 1989, progress in solving such grand challenge problems and solving them by parallel processing them was a modest factor of eight. That factor was erroneously decreed by Amla's law of diminishing returns expected from the increase in the speed of supercomputers. My contribution to supercomputing is this. I figured out how parallel supercomputing works and that discovery changed the way we look at the supercomputer that occupies the space of a soccer field and change the way we look at the fastest computer that can be placed on your desk. The computer is a machinery that performs fast calculations. The massively parallel supercomputer is the fastest computer. The Philip M. Aguale Internet is a global network of commodity of the shelf processors that we are identical to each other, that we are tightly coupled to each other, that we are equal distances apart from each other, from each other, that share nothing between each other. Each processor operated its own operating system. My contributions to knowledge is this. I discover a new internet that is a new global network of processors or tiny computers that is not a computer per se but that is a new that is a supercomputer de facto who invented the internet the internet has many fathers and mothers as well as aunts and uncles but only one father of the internet invented a new internet. The father of the internet should at least contribute new technological knowledge that pertains to the internet and do so by inventing a new internet. I am called a father of the internet because I am the only father of the internet that invented a new internet.
insightful and brilliant lecture.